Hi, I'm Kyle, Max Center's Apple Solutions Architect. Today, we're going to take a look at an iOS application released via Apple known as Apple Configurator. In conjunction with macOS Monterey, this application allows you to enroll macOS devices into your Apple School Manager or your Apple Business Manager account. In this video today, we're going to take a look at an iOS application released by Apple known as Apple Configurator. In conjunction with macOS Monterey, this allows you to enroll devices into Apple School Manager and Apple Business Manager. This feature has been present for some time now in iOS devices and has become a staple for some organizations to enroll iOS devices into Apple Business Manager and Apple School Manager. Now, those macOS devices that weren't purchased through an authorized reseller like MacCenter can be added to your Apple Business or Apple School Manager account and go through automated device enrollment. Before we take our first look at Apple Configurator for iOS, we first must understand the requirements that need to be met to enroll a macOS device into Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager. For the iOS device that you're using, it's going to need to be running iOS 15 or later, have a camera and have Apple Configurator installed. For the Mac OS device that you're enrolling into School or Business Manager, it is going to need to have a T2 chip or an Apple Silicon chip running Mac OS Monterey and the device needs to be at the Setup Assistant. And finally, you're going to need a managed Apple ID that has the role type of Device Administrator. Let's now take a look at Apple Configurator on iOS. As you can see here, I have Configurator installed on my iPhone. I'm just going to launch that. Upon the first time you launch it, you need to allow Apple Configurator to use Bluetooth services. So just select OK. And then just select Continue from here. From here, you're asked to sign in with your managed Apple ID account. Remember, this managed Apple ID account must have the privileges of device management or greater. I'm just going to enter my details now. Once you've successfully entered in your details, you'll be prompted for a second form of authentication. I'm just going to enter my authentication code now. Once you've successfully signed into the application, you'll be presented with a prompt where you need to give Apple Configurator access to your camera. So just select OK on that. So taking a look at the application, what we have on the left hand side is a system preference icon. We're just going to select that now. So what you can see in the settings section of the application is the organization that the managed Apple ID is tied to, network configuration and the network that you're connected to. Now these network configuration options are how your iOS device is going to communicate to the macOS device and enroll a device into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. There are two ways that this can be done. You can share the Wi-Fi connection that your iOS device is connected with, or you can use a configuration profile. This configuration profile does need to be uploaded to iCloud Drive to be able to retrieve it and then use it. For the purposes of this demo, and for ease of use, I'm just going to show off the share Wi-Fi option. Moving away from the settings, I'm just going to select done and select on the little menu bar application icon on the right hand side. So here, this is where you can see all of the devices that you've enrolled into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager using this iOS device. I haven't done so just yet, so we see no devices there. I can't believe how simple and easy Apple made the whole process. All you're required to do is get your iOS device with Apple Configurator open, bring it close enough to the Mac device that the Mac device can detect the iPhone, and then a blue floating orb will appear on the Mac OS device. You scan that with your iPhone, and then Apple Configurator does the rest. It automatically assigns your device to either Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Once the device has been successfully assigned, you will then be presented with the options to either restart or reboot the machine. Now, let's take a look at this process with a Mac OS device and an iOS device side by side. 
Now we're going to take a look at the process of enrolling a Mac OS device into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager using Configurator for iOS. So you see here, I have a Mac OS device and it's at the Setup Assistant. You're going to need to select the language that you are going to be using the Mac in and then go Continue. Once you land at the Select Your Country or Region screen, you then stop progressing any further with the Mac OS device. You take your iOS device, you launch that up, and you open Configurator. With Configurator open, you're going to bring that to the Mac device and a blue floating orb should appear. Now, you can scan the blue floating orb with the camera with Apple Configurator open to enroll the device. Or, on device, you can select Pair Manually and then in Apple Configurator, select Pair Manually as well, and you can enter the code in that is presented to you. I'm just gonna go back using uh, Pair using with camera, and I'm gonna scan the blue floating orb. So I just bring that up, put it in the frame, and it's successfully paired. Now, what's happening in the background is your Mac OS device using the Wi-Fi connection of your iOS device is going out to Apple servers and exchanging information and letting Apple know that this device that you're using belongs to your organization. So we just need to wait here until we see this screen here added. So once your machine's been added, it will inform you that it's been added to Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager and the organization in which it's assigned it to. You are then presented with two options shut down or restart. My advice would be to shut the machine down, sign into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager and assign the device to the appropriate MDM solution. Once you've successfully assigned your device to either Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager, you are then required to assign that device to the appropriate MDM solution. So, sign into the respected service that you use. On the left-hand side, you can see devices. Select that. Then at the top, there's a search field. Search for the device via serial number. Once you've located your device and you've selected it, you'll see on screen that the source of the device is Apple Configurator. That's how you know you've successfully added the device to the program using Apple Configurator for iOS. At the top is Edit MDM Server. Select that and assign the device to the appropriate MDM solution. From here, allow for enough time to elapse for Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager to sync down to your MDM solution. From then, you'll be able to set up your Mac OS device just like any other device that's registered to automated device enrollment program, whether it be purchased through an authorized Apple reseller or assigned to the respected program via Apple Configurator. Just like enrolling iOS devices into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager, there is a 30 day cooling off period. And this is true for Mac OS devices too. So what do I mean by a 30 day cooling off period? Well, users are actually able to remove the MDM profile from the device, even if you as an administrator mark that MDM profile as non-removable within the pre-stage enrollment configuration. So if you're in, in an educational institution whereby you may have students who like to circumvent the rules or have tech savvy users who may want to opt out of MDM management, try and plan ahead where possible and get these devices into Apple School Manager and Apple Business Manager 30 days before you hand them out to the users. Once the 30 day period has elapsed, the MDM profile is then marked non-removable and you have full management control of the device. And that's Apple Configurator for iOS. That's everything I believe you should know as a Mac admin who wants to leverage Apple Configurator for iOS to enroll Mac OS devices into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Thanks for watching.